Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate modular base building guide. And I will be extending on these guides if I learn anything new. But I've spent about eight to ten hours on it. Okay. And I think I figured out a few things that might help you guys. And yeah, might might help you guys to enjoy it. Now, the first thing I want to say about modular base building is before the 0 0.8 update, we just had from year down to year, okay? So we've basically got everything we had. You are still going to use a wooden wall for your outer perimeter. You are still going to use these wooden platforms, the single door, the double door, okay? The airplane door, the towers. So everything that you had... All that you don't have is the two cabins or the three cabins, okay? The small cabin, medium cabin, and the large cabin. So it's only the three cabins that you lost. You st still keep everything else. But instead of having the cabin, now you have this, okay? And the magical thing about these parts is they can be upgraded. Where in the past, you could only build platforms out of wood and you can could only build cabins on top of, top of those platforms out of wood and make your door out of wood. And one C4 blew your door away and you were raided, okay? The, the, the cabins were the weakest point in base building. Now we've got modular base building, which is a heck of a lot more fun, and we can create our own cabin with the upgrades that we want. So, just to be clear, this is for your cabin. Everything that you put down will have to be put down on foundations that can be upgraded, and then you make it beautiful and exciting with the rest. Outside of your custom cabin, which the modular base building is giving you, you still have your normal things, okay, that you can make. You can still make your outer walls, like you can see here next to me, we've still got the barbed wire, we've still got the, still got the concrete walls exactly the way they were, we've still got the towers, okay? What the modular base building gives you is a very creative way of doing bases. Now this is the triangle tweak foundation, okay? If you just start a triangle tweak foundation and you go all the way around, then you can easily use these um, triangle tweak floors, okay? Make yourself a, n a nice, beautiful hut, okay? Um, you don't have to do this. You can make, like, a beautiful place close to, you, close to your base, so you can destroy this. Okay? And then you can make something like this, okay? That just goes around it. So you can really, really, really create beautiful things guys okay if you put your mind to it a lot of things to play around with now the biggest thing about the modular bases is that support is very important but the one thing that might confuse you guys i've seen people tell me you can't build balconies you can't do this you can't do that and i've done everything so far so to give you an example of things that people are struggling with and i want you guys to play around with this yourselves to enjoy it okay don't want to show you absolutely everything i've learned just want to show you the basics so that you can go ahead and open up your wings okay me personally i will i won't build a base like this because to have a defensive base it's better to just do the modern houses with the flat roofs okay just to make it a little bit more secure but for instance if you take this wall and you put this wall up there okay then it's not going to be a wall it's just going to be like that okay and you can see when you place it that's why i say you can play around with it beforehand the blueprint will show you that it updates and you might say lutai is that thing at the back looks like poop yes i agree with you it does look like poop but as soon as you start playing around with the base building you will see that poop turns into something nice okay you will see that poop turns into something nice because the parts work together Okay, now, it doesn't look like poop anymore, does it? Now it looks like a half-decent and half-decent um, base. Like I said, I won't ever build a base like this. But just understand that use the blueprints. 
keep playing around with the blueprints to see how the parts combine with each other, okay? And how it gives you much more creative power to do with your bases. Now, the, the one thing that you have to rely on are these, um, these structures, okay? These um, tweak frame supports. The tweak frame supports are extremely, extremely important, okay? To make sure that you've got support. The only, only thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is having the support and a wall, okay? Because if I put, place the support down like this, Okay, if I place the support down like this, then I can put the I can put the roof down there or up here. Okay. So the, now that that gives me some enough support to make the roof there. But then I can't really, you know, I can't put the other wall here. So that's the only thing that I've that I've really been struggling with. But like I say, I don't really look into stuff like this deeply. But yeah, that's the one thing I would like them to enable us to make you know short walls with this, you know, on top of this as well, just so that we can have that nice design, you know, the wedding design or the holiday resort design or the cabin, you know, the Caribbean islands designs and stuff like that. And like I say, guys, everything can be upgraded. Okay, first upgrade is nice looking wood. The next upgrade is um, like steel. Then you go to brick or a kind of cement, and then you go to cement. I would like some some bigger differences, and I'd even like a last one where we can maybe use coal or something like that, okay, to make our bases look really, really cool. So just understand that this is your old cabins that you can design, okay, and then you can do really, really nice things like this, okay. You can do really, really cool things like this. So this is just a high, a high tower. Like people told me, they can't build balconies. That is a balcony. Okay? That is a balcony. And I'll show you guys now why I say it's a balcony. So if you want to go straight up with stairs, you are going to craft these spiral staircases. Only craft the end when you're done. Don't craft the end in between, okay? When you're done with where you want it to go to, then you craft that to have a platform at the top. So I just used the first one, okay? Just the spiral stairs. And I just built it straight up so that, I can, so that I can walk straight up. And then this is where my end is, okay? And now I've got a balcony, guys. And you guys might say, no, this is not a balcony. Yes, it is a balcony. I can destroy anything here. Okay, I can destroy this top one. Okay, now I've got a balcony. You see that, guys? This is a balcony. Okay, we've got a balcony. But of course, that is supporting um, the roof. Now that one is supporting the roof, okay? So it's got a stability system that you must try and get used to, that you can play with. And these are just two half walls placed on top of each other. You can stack walls. Like I say, the only, only, only thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is um, combining the support with something in between, okay? That's the only thing I'm struggling, that's the only thing I'm that I've struggled with. And then these stairs over here, the normal U-shaped stairs, you have to like, um, you know, you have to build more than one platform. You can't just stack them straight up in the air. You have to build more platforms to get to where you want to go, okay? So if you want to go up here like this, we have to be protected that no one shoots us, okay? And now we go, now we get on top. But this, these platforms are not possible without the... Without the found without these tweak support frames, okay? They are sp specifically called tweak support frames, and it's very easy to craft them because it works like scaffolding. You can literally walk on top of the scaffolding and just you know put support down wherever you want. Put support down wherever you want support, okay? So I'm just gonna put that support down there, and then I can just walk here on my scaffolding, okay, or on, on my support tweaks, and put you know. Make that one there. So you can walk on your scaffolding 
no problem, okay? And just make the scaffolding. But without the scaffolding, you cannot go this wide, okay? You cannot go this wide, and I'll show you why. Because of the support structures. Okay, there goes the first one. Only thing that's supporting that floor is these supports. Okay. Still holding on there. So you can see that support is still on that corner and that support is still on that corner, which is holding it. Okay. Now that corner is holding up that one. That corner is holding up that one. That's why I say you can make a garage very easily because nothing is supporting those two roofs except that one that one corner and that one corner there. Okay. That one support is supporting that roof and that roof. So you can make two roofs um, that, you know, that hang in the air, which is great for designs. But when you go big with a base and when you want to make a base secure so the base doesn't crumble under a raid, you need to think a bit further. Okay, so when we're going to destroy this one, everything's going to come crashing down. These above me is definitely going to come crashing down. Okay, so there. Support is gone. Now, that one it was held up by this. Okay, now can we speed this up? We can just do this. As soon as you destroy the foundation, that is where your main support comes from. Okay, then everything is done for. Okay, and now we can let the whole thing come down. So as you guys can see, the support is very, very, very important. Okay, so just know that your foundations are very important. The walls are very important, especially for floors. Floors need a heck of a lot of support. Okay, like roofs. Let me just see exactly what that name is. Um, you know, the floors, the floors act as roofs. Okay, you can make a roof, but if you, if you want to make a flat roof, you can make a flat roof like that. But even if you wanted to make a normal roof, you're still going to need the support. Okay, and at the moment, the C4 isn't really working well. If the C4 worked well, then we, then we could have just gotten rid of everything immediately. That's going to come crashing down, but as you can see, the support system works very, very nice at the moment. You can do a lot of you can do a lot of creative things with it. Yeah, but if I destroy these four these four uh, foundations at the bottom, okay, and again you can see that it's just just holding up because of that because of the support beam it's holding up that okay. So yeah, guys, a lot of creative things: balconies, towers, castles, you know, Caribbean huts. Beautiful houses, beautiful beach houses, bridges over rivers. And for the first time, you can put a foundation on a rock, which you couldn't in the past, so you couldn't really make a bridge over a river. Like if you had your base this side of the river and you wanted to get to the other side of the river, you had to drive much further instead of just making a bridge that goes over the river, okay? And these are basically just all the base building elements that you can use in the game, okay? This is a fully upgraded... Um, tower over here, and I'm just going to set my my time here to 10 to make it a bit brighter for you guys. Okay, so this is a fully upgraded tower on the corner. Um, this is the large log shed and the small log shed tower. Keep up, you know, keep out sign. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. A well. A well, okay, for you. Your garage with the nice ramp, okay. Again, fully upgraded. You've got chairs here. You've got the improvised workbench, okay. So you can just take your car and drive in here if this car is still alive. No, this car is dead, okay. But, I mean, you can just take your car and drive it in here. So let's just spawn in um, this vehicle here. Okay. Coolest thing about these modular cars is the way the is the way the door opens up, the sound of the door, you know, the upgrades and everything like that.
Okay, so here we come in. Now this is this is my cabin, guys. Instead of the old way, now this is my cabin. Okay. Now I just want to make sure I'm clear here. I just want to make sure my doors are clear. Okay, so I'm not blocking my doors. And these these major pillars that you guys see here, they, these big pillars are basically just these small tweaks. Okay, these small tweak support frames that I upgraded. Now they solid support pillars. Okay which will make it very, very difficult for this base to fall apart. And inside my base, I could take the, you know, I could take the car jack and I can service the car. If you've got a vehicle repair kit on you, okay, you can put on parts and take off parts. So I can just come here. I can just remove this, okay, and I can put it down here. So we can just trip the car here. Okay, and then you can see what you can put everywhere. Can't put the parts into something yet. Okay, can't put the parts into something yet. But you can strip all the parts off. Okay, and just put it down. So yeah, you know it's great that you can. It's great that you can do your own garages in here in any case. Um, and this is the future, whether these cars stay or they go, it doesn't matter. This is going to be a very, very exciting part of the game. I'm just showing you the base building elements, the, the how more, much more exciting the game is now that you've got your own cabin. Okay, now that you've got your own cabin, you can really, really make things exciting. Okay, and feel like a, me feel like a mechanic over here in your own base. Okay. So, as you take the parts off, you'll see where you can put the parts back on, you know. And if we want to put the parts back on, we take it in our hands and we just put the part back on. Okay, simple as that. So, this is the garage, okay. Very, very nice garage. Then when we come in here, we put a human head there to keep out. Okay, now we this part is upgraded to metal. Okay, we've got a nice snowman here with our chests, our wardrobes. Okay, our target practice here. Um, if you if you're bad with other bows, you can always come here and just yeah you know, do some target practice. You've got your weapons over here. Okay, so let's say I want to go hunting. Then I'm gonna take my VHS. Okay, and I can just put my bat, my bat. I can put my bat in there. I can put my bow in there. I can take my uranium. That I got from the power plant in there. Okay. We put my axe in there. And then I can take. I want to go hunting. So let's see. We can either take the Mosin or the Hunter. Okay. Or we can take the Carbon Hunter. So let's take the Carbon Hunter. Okay. And there we go. Now we're ready to, do, to go do some hunting. Okay. Maybe I don't want to take the quiver with me. So I just take the quiver, put the quiver on there. So you've got the weapon, you know, the weapon holsters. You've got your trophies. You've got the table. You've got your barbecue with four fires under it, your targets. Now you can build stairs like this. Look at this balcony. This balcony is really, really awesome because if people attack me, then I can just shift G and throw the grenades over the wall. Okay, shift G. That's bad. Okay, that's a bit bad. <laughs> okay, guys, that was a little bit of a mishap. That's why I always play in first person so that I don't do, you know, so that I don't do things like that. But in any case, um, still works. Okay, add to quick start, activate the hand. I can throw grenades. Put this weapon away. I can throw, look how far that wall is. I can throw grenades over that wall by, with Shift G. Shift G. Okay, so I just have to aim a little bit better. So I can go shift G and just jump beforehand. Okay, so I can kill people on the other side of that wall. Okay, so I can take cover here. Okay, and use my control. You know, I can like, maybe there's a guy at that tree and then I lean. 
you know? Then I lean and I stand up and I shoot, you know? But as I'm aiming, okay, I can just can keep on shooting like this, you know? With my mouse scroll, hold control in and then mouse scroll and that will change, change your leaning, okay? So you can just hold control and then you and then you can change how you do this, okay? So that that will that will help a lot. Um, I can get onto the towers immediately if I want to, okay? I can get onto most of the towers. Three, I can probably get onto that tower, but um, yeah, that tower is a little bit far. But yeah, like I said, I can get to, onto all the towers very very fast. And this the big thing is this is my new cabin. So compare the old cabin that we had to this cabin. Okay, now we've got the the little shooting points here. Okay, you're going to cover, shoot the people like this. Okay, and then we've got the roof. Maybe someone is here. Okay, just on the other side of the wall. Then what you can do is you can go shift G again. Before they see you, like they can't see you now, shift G. There you go. Eat some of that. Okay. So yeah, guys, the big thing is this is your new this is your new um area. Okay, and then you can do farming there. Just a lot of weeds that took it over. I should have put um fungicide and pesticide in it beforehand. But you can plant, that's the farm there, okay? Or you can put a plane here where, once they bring the planes back. Okay, this base can handle a vehicle and a plane. Okay, and that's it, guys. It's There's not a lot of parts to play with. I've put a lot of decorations in here, okay? But the farming, you know, the farming um, system is easy as well. Okay, when you, put, when you put it down on the ground, you can just walk. You know, you can just point how big you want the farms to be. And if you guys want a farming video, I can bring you, you know, I can bring you a, far, a farming video. Um, but then, let me just check here if I can spawn the hoe. For some reason, I can't, it doesn't give me the hoe. In any case, if you've got the hoe, guys, then you can get rid of the weeds much, much faster. Okay, uh, you can plant every single seed, whatever your favorite food is, you can plant it. Okay, and just look at this, you know, look at, look, look at the difference between the cabin that you had and what you have right now. Okay, it's absolutely marvelous, guys, and all, everything I built, I built out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like we can just call it one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you yeah, know, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen parts. Sixteen parts. You can get major creative and every part you can upgrade to what you want. Yeah. Do you want a wooden base? Do you want a metal base? Do you want your floor to be metal? Do you want your roof to be this? Okay. So you've still got your outer walls. Okay, you still got your outer walls that you make here, the old base building system, and then you've got your new and improved cabin. Okay, I think I'm going to make that the screenshot. You've got your new and improved cabin. So guys, if you've got any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Go get your base up, go play with the blueprints, Figure new things out. Show me your beautiful bases. And before we go, I will show you my favorite kind of base. I'll be back now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. Here it is. If we can just get this car started, that will help. We can't get the car started. Okay, no, 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 I wasn't in the car. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's just see if we can get the car moving. Press F1 to go into the other the other side. Because I can't go into... There we go, there we go. 
There we go. Okay. So there we go. We've got our own garage, and now you guys can see I don't need support beams like in the previous garage because these walls support these roofs, and then all the roofs, because they're connected to that wall, supports this middle one. Okay, so you don't need any support beams inside here. Okay. And then I just want to um, see here. No. See which way is this one going? Yeah, I think that's right. There we go. Okay. So I just want to make a spiral here quickly. To get up here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my favorite bunker base. Okay. Now I want to test a few things out, but there's no there's no entrances into this base, as I will show you once we get in. But we've got the best waterfall in the game. Okay, to shower ourselves. This is the deluxe executive bunker base location. Okay, the the waterfall is here. Unfortunately, in multiplayer at the moment, I can't place a flag down here. I don't know why. Um, maybe it's part of the bugs in the game at the moment, but we could always place flags at this dam over here. Okay, so I'm not sure why we can't place flags over here anymore. That that is quite weird and before my guy freezes here let me just get him some santa yeah let me just get him some santa stuff quickly yeah? all the santa clothing okay this is the deluxe executive edition so yeah santa makes sense there we go okay just so that we go, don't get cold anymore i'm sure it's just the coldest that's killing us yeah so this is the this is my favorite base location and i want to spawn in soap just to see something just want to spawn in one soap to see to test something okay do we have to dirty clothing do we have any okay that is dirty okay i want to test something so you can't get into this base at all okay with c4 now if you can lock pick from water which i don't think you can then you can't get in here without using c4 but as you guys can see i just put i just float i just let the platforms float or the foundations float on the water and you know just just that they green so we've got a base in the water here with a garage and to get into this base you need to do this need to swim underneath okay and then you can open the door and jump in and now you can close this door with locks on and zappers on. I don't know if you can lockpick. Uh, because I was forced to do this in single player, because I can't put the flag down here in multiplayer. I, um, I don't, if you can't lockpick, guys, from the water, then they have to use C4 to get into this base. Fully upgraded, you can put fires here and torches and all the coolest decorations in the world. And you've got your own shower. You've got your own shower guys yeah which is absolutely fantastic and now i want to see something i've got soap in my hand which one's dirty again this one okay we can't we can't it, it would be cool if this was our own little radiation zone we are getting wet okay that's for sure okay we are getting wet so it can wash us in a way but we can't wash ourselves. Yeah, you know, if I could wash myself with soap here, that would be that would be ridiculously awesome, guys. But in any case, your own little executive, um, your own little executive, executive uh, bunker base, okay. And it doesn't matter if they see you swimming in, okay. If if they don't follow you, then you're fine, okay. And although you can't use your own shower, you've definitely got a wash basin, okay? Right here. Where's that dirty item? Yeah, you've definitely got your own little wash item place right here to wash off any radiation. And 
you are very close to the power plant, okay? Which is fantastic as well. You're close to the power plant and you're close to the trader. So, yes, guys, a lot, a lot of creative things that you can do with the base building. And just remember to turn around base parts. You just have to use the mouse scroll wheel, okay? So this is what I did. Just made it like this, okay? And to if you want to turn around base parts like this, you just mouse scroll wheel, okay? Just mouse scroll wheel to turn it. And yeah, Alt-C Alt still works, okay? I'll see still works and then we can put a corner in here if we want to you know put a little corner in here please guys you know use your creativity please use your creativity of course we can't go too deep okay so we have to use the shallow the shallow side here yeah but like i say use your use your creativity guys build wonderful bases this is going to keep you busy for a, you know, for a very, very long time. An extremely, extremely long time. Okay. Because it's just so absolutely fantastic. And, um, but weird that I couldn't, I couldn't put that one down there. But okay. And then we can, you know, we can upgrade this. Okay, sir, can we just, uh, there we go. Okay, and now you can get a fishing pole and you can catch some fish. Right here. At your own little bunker base. This is absolutely fantastic, guys. And yeah, hope you enjoy it. If you learned something, do me a favor and click that like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, then click that subscribe button. And in the next video, I'm going to give you some information that you're interested in. Okay? We're going to skip the farming. We're going to get to the banking and the fame and money. How to make money, how to get fame, how to use the bank. See you guys later. Cheers, guys.